Patience is key, but wasting time is the enemy. So as you can see, the throttle is busted on this one. Just like the last Yamaha I had, the Grizzly, the throttle for some reason was broken on that one too. This one is not that surprising since everything else is beat to hell. why I jumped from the frame to this is because I remembered that I gave my bottle to my buddy, my welding bottle to my buddy, so that he would refill it for me. Sounds like a good friend to me. These channel locks on the other hand aren't that good. me to weld this frame I need the bottle so that it can shield the metal and without the shielding the weld's gonna look like crap and it's not gonna be as strong as if I were to have gas so that's why we're sitting tight on that and I'm actually working on this so that I can go out and weld this at his place because it's aluminum I don't have an aluminum welder I got it all planned out in my head and I just have to explain it to you guys once in a while here is the throttle assembly this piece goes on this piece just like that. So what I have to do is clean this up, take it to his place, and weld it up. So it's one piece, not pieces. Singular, not plural. English, English lesson. We learn it all here at 3D Machines. Thanks 3D Machines, you're the best. So like I was saying about that light bulb, what is this? Are you kidding me right now? They threw a chunk of rebar in there. Oh my goodness. This is how confident they were in their welds. And when you put a piece of filler that big into something that you're about to weld, that tells me that you're not a very confident welder. And you should probably stay away from the welder. Now I gotta get that out of there. Easier said than done. Can you imagine can you guys kind of see that this handlebar is a little lower? I'm gonna bring it up real quick. At least that's what my goal is. Just a little bit too small. Yep. All the big guns. Just a little bit. No crooked. Something's better than nothing. I'd say that's pretty good. You guys know that I like to record as much as I can, but I didn't want to record me cleaning this up. The reason being, I don't need hot aluminum flying through the air and getting on the lens. Plus, it would have only been a 10 second shot. So a 10 second shot isn't really worth damaging a camera and then having me to run an hour away to go get the camera replaced and then an hour home. Just doesn't make sense, you, know, you guys understand. But now that that's clean, this is all ready for tomorrow when I pick up my bottle. So I'll get two birds stone at once. Or if you don't understand that lingo, Two birds with one stone. Let's get back to working on this frame. I don't know if you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about, but this spot right here, it runs underneath here. This is bent, and I wanna take a sledgehammer to it and kind of straighten it out, because I don't have like a jack system or a hydraulic pump system where I can rip this thing out to where I want it to go. So we have to remove this thing, breather of some sort. This is so that the belt doesn't get wet, I believe. 
so it doesn't look like it's too difficult to remove. Take that out. Hopefully we can get a sledgehammer in there. That's gonna be the trickiest part. This is where I want your honest feedback. Like I've said in the past, I just wanna mention this. Like I've said in the past, I'm really tall. I'm six foot one or two. I, I still have yet to really find out what I actually, that's the reason why I'm always kneeling down or crouching down in my shot. But anyways, I want your honest opinion. I understand that you guys 100% appreciate my videos. I can see it, the numbers are substantial. They are incredible and I appreciate that. And I know you guys appreciate my entertainment. But what I do wanna know, do you guys prefer me to do like a talking session and then get some shots of what I'm actually doing? Or do you like to hear a lot of talking at once and then a lot of shots at once? Or do you like little shots and you just wanna hear what I have to say? Everybody's different, I understand that, but I would like to know where you guys are coming from. I like your opinions. So leave that in the comment section below, please. What is that? You gotta be kidding me. Ah, mice! What the heck? How do mice get in there and live in there? I'm sure there aren't any mice in there right now, but still, there's a mouse nest in there. Put another tally down. I'm not a collision expert. I'm just a kid who went to a two-year school and ended up getting two degrees. I'm not saying that in a braggadocious way. I'm just stating the facts. But what I do wanna know, but what I do wanna know, what are my heights at right now? This one's at exactly 30 and a half inches. This one's at exactly 29 inches and three quarters. I'm measuring from the ground to the bottom of this frame. So that's a difference of three quarter inches. So I wanna see if just bending this will bring it up any. It should. Check out how straight this side is. Compared to this side, look at it, it's twisted straight out of the shot. Ouch. Oh, sledgehammer, I just bought one. Well, a long time ago, but still, I just bought one. I'm not a lefty, definitely not a lefty. Man, I wish the left side was screwed up so I could just whale it like this. Now what I could do is cut it right here at this bend Take a piece of pipe, drag this side over, take that pipe off, put a new pipe on, slip it on this side, pull it out, and then re-weld those two. It's just gonna be difficult lining both of those up once I re-bend it. Patience is key, but wasting time is the enemy. You gotta find a happy medium. And I think I found it. I think it's right here. So easy. I got 30 and a half exactly. I have 30 inches. So we've gone up a quarter of an inch already. And we haven't bent that thing right into the correct spot yet. I don't know how much I really like that head. Did a lot. Just wish I had a little bit more swinging room. I have made a little bit of progress. This this end has come up a little bit. I can't just put a pipe on the end of this and pull up because what will happen is this, this will just bend somewhere in here because there's no support on it. So my problem is this right here. I try to make a cut and then two cuts and then two cuts turned into three, then three turned into four. So I can't even use this piece of frame anymore. I'm just gonna have to lop it completely out 
and replace it with brand new stuff. I'll try to figure out if I can shift the frame so that these two are level and that this one is level with this piece. And then once we accomplish those two pairs, then we can weld everything solid. We can weld that solid, this new piece in here, that piece of garbage. We're probably going to have to cut this piece too. One thing's for sure, I'm enjoying it a lot more today than I was yesterday. I think what made it a little bit more fun is we busted out the brand new sludge. I only had to bust out the torch a couple times. I ended up switching the head. I originally had this head on here. I don't know, it doesn't put out a nice solid blue flame. I'll show you for example. Here you have... So you have the large flame and then you have the smaller inner flame. And that's the hottest part of the flame, right there at the tip. And unfortunately, the other one doesn't provide us that. So that's why I put the new head on the hotter gas. That gas is hotter than that gas. I hope you guys had fun. Don't forget we make videos every day. We make awesomeness every day. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out. Enjoy your night, you guys. I hope I put a smile on your face somewhere throughout this video. See ya.